ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. Hey guys, welcome back to another beer review. Uh, tonight we're checking out kind of a special beer for me. Uh, this is the 2015 vintage of Bourbon Barrel Aged Speedway Stout. This is just a standard Speedway Stout. Asian Bourbon Barrels, it's a coffee stout from Ale Smith, one of my favorite local breweries. Uh, this beer clocks in at 12% alcohol by volume, and it was actually just released about, I think it was like two weeks ago, time of recording. It was right towards the end of July. Um, it was an online brown paper ticket thing. 3,500 bottles of it sold out in about 45 seconds, they said. So pretty lucky to get my hands on this one. Um, it's, it was a long day at work today, and I just came home, and I'm like, you know what? I feel like a huge beer right now. I've been reviewing a ton of IPAs lately, and uh, I just was in the mood for like a big boozy beer, and I'm hoping that's what this is. Um, they had this on tap when I picked up my bottles, and I had a little tiny sample of it, and it was delicious. So I'm hoping that the bottle versions um, is as good as it was on tap. It was really cold on tap, so I probably didn't get everything out of it that I should have. But yeah. Uh, Speedway Stout's one of my favorite stouts. I've never actually reviewed that beer on this channel. I've had it a ton of times. It's like one of the, I don't know, for me, it's like one of the best shelf stouts on the West Coast. Um, it's everywhere around here. You can usually get a bomber for like $11.99, which is a crazy good deal for, in my opinion. Um, these beers are a little pricier. These are around 30 bucks. So um, a lot of hype behind these beers. Um, from what I've seen, you know, batches t uh, tend to vary year to year. And uh, yeah, 2015 just came out. I haven't seen any video reviews on it. Haven't really looked at Untapped either, which is weird. So I'm not really sure where this beer stands with everyone. So um, let's go ahead and get into this one. Hopefully this is one of the last inside reviews I have to do. The weather's supposed to kind of cool off um, in the next couple days. I just, for as hot as it's been, I can't be out in the garage, dude, to review beers. I just can't do it. So I apologize for... <laughs> being in my kitchen I know it's kind of a lame and boring but it is what it is big hiss on that bottle yeah 12% on this one wow <laughs> I can already smell bourbon I think this is what I wanted tonight so let's go ahead and give this one a pour I'll go right down the middle this was uh, sitting in we have a little wine fridge that my wife keeps wine in and it's at 55 degrees so it was sitting in a 55 degree wine fridge. I let it sit out for about 15 minutes. So it's basically room temperature right now. So that poured, it wasn't like a crazy thick viscous black color, but in the glass, it is absolutely pitch black. Um, about a finger of like a, just a fluffy like mocha colored head. That beer looks absolutely amazing in the glass. So as soon as I crack that, <laughs> I could smell bourbon. So let's go ahead and stick our nose in this one. Oh, whew. that smells awesome. That is very much bourbon forward. This actually reminds me a little bit, just while I'm thinking of it, and I had it a couple weeks ago, um, it reminds me of Bourbon County. Tons of bourbon, like fudgy chocolate. You get a, a nice like pop of vanilla. Um, from the barrels I think there's like a little bit of like this like charred oak thing going on but yeah this is just like fudgy chocolatey bourbon um, the nose is great on this it you get like a big barrel characteristic it doesn't smell like really hot to me though like this doesn't smell like you're gonna take a sip kind of like I had um, it was like two or three months ago, oh, two months ago, had a bottle of uh, Uncle Jacob's and I had it at a share and I didn't get to do a video on it, but that beer was pretty freaking warm. It was delicious, but I mean, that beer is like 17, 18%. This one's only 12%, but it's not like that big, like burn your nostrils kind of a heat from, <laughs> from the barrels. But yeah, this is killer. Just the, the fudgy bourbon, the vanilla, that charred kind of oak from the barrels. I will say, um, I mean, Speedway Stout is a coffee beer. I don't get any coffee on the nose of this. It is just overpowered by bourbon right now. It is really fresh. I wanted to drink it fresh, though, because they say with coffee stouts, coffee's the first thing to fall off. So 
Um, I have a couple more bottles of this I can sit on and open up later um, to see if it kind of mellows out, but the coffee is not anywhere in the, in the nose of this. But yeah, this reminds me a lot of Bourbon County, so let's go ahead and dig in. Cheers. Oh man, that is delicious. Wow, that's good. Is the peanut gallery gonna start barking again? I don't know if she's gonna bark or not. But yeah, um, definitely get warmth um, on the back end of that. Um, really chocolatey, fudgy, bourbon. Um, nice, the, the pop of vanilla in there is just awesome. Um, but yeah, there is a little bit of heat on that. The, you get you get a nice like fit, like the bourbon is there. It, it finishes um, with just a little bit of warmth going down. Um, the only thing that I noticed just with that first sip is the it, the beers. I, I wish it were like chewier. Damn, <laughs> that's good. Uh, definitely a sipper. The, the mouthfeel is actually, it's like a medium, kind of a medium minus mouthfeel. I kind of wish it was like sludgy, like chewy. I like big, crazy chewy stouts. Um, but yeah, the chocolate and the vanilla and the bourbon, that's crazy good. Definitely one that you'd sip on. I'm going to sip on this for the rest of the night and be plenty happy. Um, definitely more bourbon forward, drinking it at room temperature um, than when I had it on tap. But man, this is a great beer. I, I will say though, I don't get, and it might just be, be because of all the heat from the bourbon, I don't get any coffee in this, which is kind of a bummer. Um, there's a nice bit of roastiness um, that kind of sits on your on your palate, middle of the mouth. But yeah, the vanilla and the chocolate and like that kind of charred oak thing, it's like, almost. I don't know how to explain that. It's like a, It's like burnt wood, if that makes sense. But yeah, this is nice and bourbony. I wanted it to be bourbon forward, and it is. Excuse me. This is amazing stuff, though. Really, really good. The only thing that's kind of lacking for me is, I mean, the coffee, obviously, um, but the mouthfeel. It's just, it's not, it's not thin by any means, but I wish it was like that sludgy, chewy, like brownie batter kind of a thing. But awesome stuff from Alesmith. If you guys picked up any of the 2015 bottles of Barrel Age Speedway Stout, go ahead and if you've got extras, crack one open right now. It's drinking really, really good. If you like a nice, big, bourbon-forward uh, Barrel aged Stout, that's this right now. I'm sure this will kind of mellow out as it sits. Like I said, I got a couple that I'm going to lay down, but um, awesome, awesome stuff. Really, really, really good. This is exactly what I wanted, <laughs> what I wanted tonight. Yeah, that chocolate and the vanilla and like that charred oak is killer. I like that a lot. Big barrel presence with this beer. And I'm actually really, really stoked on that. So yeah, 2015 Bourbon Barrel Speedway Stout. Um, as far as a grade goes, this is awesome stuff. I think Bourbon County, for me, I reviewed that beer last year, I think. Um, that was before I was giving it ratings, but that beer is a 100 for sure. This beer is really, really good. I'm gonna go 98 on this one. A plus, um, really, 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 really good. If the mouthfeel was a little bit chewier, I probably would have gone, you know, 99, maybe even like to the to the 100 range. Um, awesome stuff from Alesmith, definitely. If you want this beer, it, you wouldn't be disappointed trading for it. I don't know what it's trading for right now. I have no idea, but definitely one to check out. Um, and I'm going to very much enjoy sipping on this for the rest of the evening, so. Yeah, if you've ever had Barrel Age Speedway Stout, let me know what you think. That's a world-class beer for sure. Awesome, awesome stuff. That heat going down is nice too. That's exactly what I wanted tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this one up guys. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.